Hi everyone, it's Jeanette, um, Crafty Dork, just here to recap and um, do our next tutorial. Starting off firstly with the, um, I call these journaling cards. They're actually flip outs. Okay, so that was a bit of a faux pas on my part. And I did go back, I can't remember if I showed you, I did go back and pop some uh, trim down the side. They just looked a little bit um, plain. So I did just a little bit of um, the leaf trim and it just uh, finished it off. And the same on number three. Haven't stuck him in yet. Nope, so this one, that's right, I've got him on the other side. So that even looks okay with the undersea bit with the, um, looks a bit seaweedy. Seaweedy. Okay, so there we go. Today um, it's an envelope. So I'll pop that back. I've done, I've done two. We could get rid of this one. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. Oops, where did you go? I lost one. Oh well, I've lost one somewhere. Oh goodness gracious me. Or did I is it in here? Oh. What a day. No, oh, it's here. <laughs> Oh gosh. Get you off. Get you off off camera. So this is one. I can't leave it there. I, I just cannot cannot do it. Cannot do it. There we go. It's stuck to my nails now. Okay. So it's just a little envelope. And I did use a um, tea dyed one. Um, afterwards, I thought <laughs> that was stupid. It was wasting a tea to dye because I've actually covered the whole lot. But it'll sit on the side here. It'll flip out. And then I've just popped a um, index card in. They were a yellow ones so that I just popped a bit of tea dye or coffee stain on. So it's very plain. It's just got some of the um, diary verse uh, writing on it. Um, it's got the bird. It's got a bit of a beetle and some more little snail, which I thought was a bit cute. So he goes here. A little bit of trim. It's a little bit of hessian -y sort of. It's funny trim. It came from stamping up, I think. They're both stamping up. And then just a teeny weeny little bit of um, gold rickrack. Um, and I thought that just... So that little one will flip out there. <clears throat> so that's for that signature. This one is for the, the one that's got a little bit of the C under it. And I've, I've had this trim, I bought ages and ages ago. And it's, it's quite, it's just gorgeous. You can get it all different colours, but I just got it in white and I just spray it with my um, um, Distress Stains. Um, to any colour that I like and it, it just lends itself to under the sea so I just put that there and then I looked and I thought now what am I going to just jazz it up with because it's you know it's you know the anemone and and then this fell out of my bag I've been it's been around for ages it's a bow bunny I think little trim and the colours are like it and it just reminded me of the little um anemones floating in the water so whether I put some jewels down there or once I put that in the <coughs> in the album uh, at the journal um, I'll decide whether I put some little even I've got some little teeny weeny shells I might even do that so the way I did it this is the envelope I, it's a bit tea stained um, so I've, I've chosen my flat my papers I'm going to put the bird on the front and do you know what I've done it the wrong way around I've um, I've, 
I usually draw around where I'm going to uh, stick it, but I'll just trim that off and then it will be easier to, to do it. So this will be the front. And that's the little flap. Whoops. Crash bang. Crash bang. Okay. So Yoohoo. Yoohoo. Cover up the this is why I thought afterwards, you goose, you're wasting your tea dyed. Um, envelopes and I could have just just used an ordinary envelope but then again and I could have also just used the page um, and not even worried about an envelope just use you know if you don't want to go to all this bother um, just use the um, book page itself as the envelope and um, you can stitch it all down and um, and it's all done so you don't have to go to all this bother if you don't want to but I thought it's easy to show you this way explain some of the easier ways and then um, you can decide for yourselves which way you want to go so then I just turn it around trim off the excess Making sure that I'm in camera, of course. Oh, it's a little bit of flower there that I'll keep to decorate something with. That's a bonus point. Oh, somebody's rocked up. I hope it's oh, might be my girlfriend delivering the stamping up. If that's the case, it's going to muck up my album, my tutorial, because I don't know how to stop and start. There we go. So that's the front cover of the of the envelope. And his little eyes have just gone over the top, so that's a bit of a shame. But that's all right. When you open it up, you see him. And it's got the little verse there, which is is quite cute. So so that's that. Then the back, you do the same. Right across there. Do your bit of gluing. And I go a little bit higher than this. I sort of take it right up to the top. You can always cut it down if you want to. It's entirely up to you. Whoops, a daisy. And then just turn it over now. Just cut him up there. Bit up there. What I find with him. Don't we do that? We just. Okay. So that's going to be the little corner down here. And then I'll just pop that on. Oh, that might be my son in there having a look at the new kitchen going up. Might not be your girlfriend. Hey, that's good. That's good. Okay. Not that I don't want her to come over, but I wanted to get this video filmed for you guys. And yeah, so, now just chop that little bit off. Right along like that. There. This one, I just fold it back so that it's so that it's there, and we'll just stop. 